Hi kids, my name is Nicole Miyuki and you are here for a kids project painting together. I have a special guest with me. She needs a drink of water. <laughs> this is Ella and then, you want to introduce? Uh huh. And here we have a special visitor today. Her name is Tessa. She's visiting. Oh, you can wait. <laughs> we have Tessa, and then you may hear Keaton in the back. He is our video guy, so if you hear him, just wanted to show you what he looks like. I'm Keenan. <laughs> so that's the crew. So you are here. We're going to paint along. We're painting this project that's called Color Your Name. So you can see Ella did hers already. So you're going to do this together with us. Now, the supplies that we're using. We are using watercolor paper. We already have that. If you have some kind of tape, you can either use the tape in the box or if you have blue painter's tape, I suggest to tape that down to your table. And then let's do the color swatches. Do you want to do them? Do you want me to do them? What do you mean? Do the, how I did that before. Do the yeah. Color? yeah, you can do them. So we're using watercolors and we have three different colors that we're using. So Ella's gonna dip in. So we're using Tahoe blue. Nice. And then we're using magenta. You might need a wash, yeah. And then deep yellow. So those are the three colors. And then we're using crayons. Oh yeah. Draw a ghost. We have a white crayon, which Elle's gonna draw a ghost because you just won't see it when we're doing it. So we have You'll a white crayon it. and then You'll see it later. Yeah. I could probably color it in later. And draw the eyes. Yeah, when you test colors, if you test colors. We'll do that. So those are the supplies that we are using. Okay, first step is, if you also have our zine, if you flip, we're on the fourth project, so you can follow along as well. Just wanted to let you know that that's there. First step is, grab your black crayon. I suggest to use black because it will, oh, she is just so good at this. Okay. Somehow we've forgotten. <laughs> Oh, you have a little something. But thankfully, you're here. Okay, so Ella was reminding me that we have a new motto that we want to do all together. So we're going to do this before we get painting. So if everyone can raise their right hand. Yeah, the other one. Yeah. And then repeat after me. I, I am brave. I am brave. I am kind. I am kind. And I am creative. I am creative. I am creative. Let's do this. Let's do this. <laughs> <laughs> so you all can do that together. Now we just like to start with that so that gets you in the groove. And now, thank you for reminding me, sweet girl. Okay, grab your black crayon. What we're gonna do is you will see that we have three different sections that you're creating. So you're gonna use your black crayon and you're gonna draw a line like Ella is. So I'm gonna draw a line and then we're gonna draw another line because that is going to be the separator. So if you look at this example, there's separators between the three sections. Mm -hmm. Now, if you have, maybe you have two middle names, you can go ahead and make four sections. So that would mean you would add one more line. So I'm gonna do that. And then, are you gonna do your bubble letters? Yeah, okay. Now, what you're going to do is Ella's getting started is you are going to draw your name inside. You have a few different options. You can either do bubble letters, which is what Ella's gonna do, or you can do this style, which is drawing your name and then adding decorations to it. So let me start with, Ella's gonna do that one. I'm gonna start with this one and then I'll show you how we can do bubble letters as well. So I'm going to do, I'm gonna make this one for Keenan, who's our camera guy that you met earlier. So I'm gonna write his name so I'm using my black crayon and just drawing it in the first section. Do you remember my middle name now? I do remember yes. your middle name. <laughs> <laughs> then, so once I do that, is I'm going to draw lines on the ends. So I have the ends of my letters here, and I'm going to draw lines. So think of those as decorations to the ends of your letters. So this is one style that you can do. Now, the cool bubble letter style that Ella is doing, I'm going to teach you how to do that. Ella, and that J is so cool. Thanks. It makes me think of a like a uh, an eighth note in music. Yeah. Like a jazzy oh. J. I do love Sorry, music. Sorry, I got really excited about that. I do too. 
because her dad's sinister. I love it. Okay, so Ella is doing, Ella, do you want to talk them through how you're doing bubble letters? I don't really know how I do it. I just Remember what start. you were telling me? Yeah. I just start and finish it. Oh. That's great advice. That is you great start advice. <laughs> you gotta start somewhere. <laughs> you just gotta start and finish. That's gonna be the best tagline. So if you watch Ella, she is having bubble letters means that there's space in between. So if you've never done this before, I want to show you a trick that you can do. And if you flip over in your zine, there is some space if you wanna practice this as well and the different steps. But what I'm gonna show you is Keenan's middle name is Jack. So I am using a pencil and I'm writing that out and then I'm gonna go using my black crayon and I am going to think of it as it's padded. So there's the skeleton and then it's padded and I'm going to draw around his letters or draw around the skeleton. So then on the inside of the A I need to do that there so I'm just gonna draw around, and you'll see that it's gonna look like Ella's, where it has space in the middle. Then I'm gonna erase the skeleton lines, and that's how you do bubble letters. Now, once you're done with that, what Ella's doing is she is using the white crayon Okay, but after we do that. Okay. <laughs> so she is using the white crayon because it's such a cool tool to you. So you will notice that when she's drawing, you won't see it quite yet. But we're gonna show you in a second once both her and I are done why she is doing that. So Keenan Jack Aitchison. Now Aitchison is a really long last name, so I'm gonna have to squish it. So I'm gonna think about squishing his letters and fit this inside. So I'm just gonna draw his letters. So I'm squishing because he has a really long last name. Then I'm going to add, instead of drawing lines, I want to add dots to the end of his. So I'm going to draw dots. I like to call them wheels. Oh. This is a rolling name. <laughs> I like that. Draw wheels. It's mobile. And in case they ever <laughs> fall over, <laughs> they can just roll around. <laughs> yes! Ella added wheels to hers too. Nice wheels. I love that. Okay, so Ella did this already, so I'm gonna do mine because I haven't done mine yet, is I'm using my white crayon and I am drawing patterns. So you can draw any type of shapes. Patterns can be dots, they can be triangles. You can have fun with this. So I am drawing this in between, so not on my black spots, in on the outside. Then I'm gonna draw lines. So you get to make this your own, however you'd like to do this. So I'm just gonna do that. Oh, I'm excited to see what you did. So we are doing this part. So we're doing the white parts right now. Now, whoops, I don't wanna hit you, sorry. We're too close. Okay, so I'm doing that now. Once you do that, we all are, are all ready for the next step. Do you want to say it? Mm -hmm. You ready for a magic trick? I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> so Ella's using watercolors, so you can pick any color that you would like. Yes. And as she's doing it, where she has white, sorry, oops getting stuck. Where she is white, those dots will appear. Ta -da! Ta -da! Magic. It's so much fun to just see because you have, no, we have, you know, I don't know where I drew them. Do you? Nope. Nope. So we're just going to paint. So when you're painting with watercolors is you dip into the water, you hit it off if you have a little bit too much water, and then you dip into your color and you just paint. So oh, if I know where you painted them. <laughs> now we know. 
So if you have bubble letters like Ella did, she is painting around the letters and keeping the letters white. So we're going to keep going. If it ever gets like this and you run out of paint, just dip in the water, hit off to the side, grab a little bit more. And you're just painting away. Oh, the dots are showing. Oh, do you want to do that? Mm -hmm. Okay. So Ella wanted me to show you something. Yeah. So you know what's cool is that you can grab another color. So I'm going to grab the magenta. I'm going to pick it up and then I'm going to paint with it. So the same thing that Ella's doing. And what's cool is that you'll see when it overlaps, overlaps means that it goes over the other color, it's going to turn purple makes a really pretty color. So we're doing that, we're just mixing them together. The important part when you're mixing, if you are mixing, when you're done, I would just make sure your paintbrush is clean. If you have a paper towel, you can get it clean like that, and then you'd be ready to move on to the next color. I'm invading you, Blue. <laughs> yeah, okay, what color do you want to do your middle name? Um, green and yellow, I guess. Green and yellow? Okay. Do you want to start with green or start with yellow? I don't know if I have a green. You will. So let's start with yellow then. And then we'll go to green like the same thing. Because we'll do yellow. So we're going to start with yellow. So just make sure your brush is clean. And then you're gonna paint with yellow. So we left the separators, so this line right here, we were gonna leave that white for now. Then we're gonna go yellow. <coughs> and what's really cool is that Ella and Keenan both have lat middle names that have J-A. J-A. J-A wins. <laughs> Oh yeah, the inside. I do that to my A too. So you're gonna paint, so if you have an A, or even if you have an E, any letter that has this middle part, you're going to paint that as well. So that way, can you see how now the A really pops, the white? The A, or the yellow part is what's behind. So we're gonna paint that. Then, no, yeah, do you want to make green first or do you want to just do blue? What you thinking? Green and blue looks yeah, so what we're going to do is Ella wants to make green. So in order to do that, you have two options. You can either grab your watercolors and just add a few drops. You don't need very much. Just add a few drops of yellow and then grab your blue and yeah, just do one drop of blue. And then when you mix that together, you will get green. So we're gonna do that. Do you got it? Yes. We're teaching a lot of magic tricks today. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're gonna do the same thing and paint that. So when you're overlapping, you can just use some water. Yeah. It reminds me of like a golden apple to a green apple. Ooh. Ooh it does. That sounds so good apple, right now. Apple, cotton candy. And I wonder what the last Oh, one that is Now I want candy. cotton candy. Yes, me too. I skipped the apple, yes. and I want cotton candy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so good. That is a good eye. So now we can see Elle and I both did stripes for ours. I love the white crayon. You can do all kinds of different things. You can do triangles. Yes, yeah. Oh. Diagonal lines, Tuesday lines, <laughs> you know. No, I don't. <laughs> I don't either. I just said Tuesday <laughs> and added lines after it. <laughs> oh, if you are, I just thought about this. If you have our magazine, did you know that we're doing this, Kenan? <laughs> uh, only recently. 
We're playing bingo together as oh. a fa as a Let's Make Art family. I didn't know that. Unless you no, no, he didn't know that. So no, if you have your magazine, what it means is that every time Ella or I say one of these things, you can find it on your board and then you can draw it. So we said dots and we said Tuesday lines. <laughs> Tuesday lines. <laughs> it's not on here. <laughs> we said crayon. So you can color those in. What should my last color be? Hmm. Ooh, good question. What you thinking? We got some options. You want to do that one? Ooh. You like that? Yes. I was okay. going to suggest that color. So, Ooh. excellent choice. Hmm. Okay, so let's premix it. So, let's what grab. Premix means that we're going to mix it before. So, we're, what we're going to do is we're going to squirt a little bit of yellow. Just a few drops. Nice. And then one drop of magenta. Yeah. And then let's mix it up. What do we get? Did you count your drops? You said a few. Did you do like I said three a few. drops? I think I did two or three. Two or three drops? Three. So what happens is that if it's too red, if you want, do you want it more orange? No. No, you like that? Okay, perfect. So if you want it more orange, oh, that's beautiful. Actually, I'm going to do that too. So if you want it more more yellow, you would add more yellow. If you want it more red or magenta, you would add more magenta. And I'm going to do that too. I'm going to start with this one. So again, you're going to dip in your water. Just make sure that your paintbrush is clean. And then we're both going to paint through. Oh, you did swirls. Mm -hmm. I nice. love it. I did some curls. Swirly, curly. Are you almost curls. ready for my surprise? Oh, yeah, you did a surprise? Yeah, in the middle of the line. Oh, okay, I'm excited. Okay. Oh, in there? Yes. Okay, wait, can we finish this side and then you can show me? Okay, let's finish that. And then we're going to keep going. So what I'm going to do is then I'm going to go, I'm going to just do yellow. So I had orange and now I'm going to my yellow. Need a little bit more. So again, dip in my water. You're gonna what? Ooh, so Ella's gonna go add magenta. Maybe I'll do at the bottom too. I'm just gonna add a lot of magenta to some of these parts. I love it. I'll do that too. So I'm gonna add magenta and it mixes in. Peaches. <gasps> yes. Oh, that looks so yummy. So Ella's swirls are popping up. My little curls are popping up. Ella, good color choices. Thanks. They're crazy mm -hmm. cool. Mm -hmm. See what they did there? Very funny. <laughs> <laughs> Silly. So it's such a fun magic, magic trick. Does look really pretty. So we both mixed colors. Oh, you ready to see my surprise? Yes. Okay. Can I? Can we both? Actually, yes. I want to see your surprise first. Wait. I wonder what color it should be. Did you do? Do you want to do color on here too, or do you just want to do that? I just want to do color on them. Okay. Do it. What color should I do? Let's see. You. Purple? Yeah, because you have a little bit of purple right there. Mhm. Mm yeah. Do you want to premix the purple? Yeah. So let's do one of that. So to make purple, you're going to use one drop of blue or one or two drops. You don't need that much. Since it's such a small spot, maybe one drop. Little scientist over here. And then one drop magenta. And then she's going to make purple. Who? <laughs> there you go. And then you can mix that together. I'm going to do purple too. So Ella already drew a pattern inside her lines, and so she's going to paint it. <gasps> oh, that's cool. That looks so cool. Ooh, and it'll look even cooler with that dark purple. Yes. Oh, okay. 
So there's so many different patterns that you can do here too. I'm gonna draw jagged lines here. I'm just gonna mix mine up. And so I'm doing it in a purple crayon. So you can either do it in a colored crayon or you can do it in the white like Ella did. Oh, you're gonna do purple on both? Okay, I'm gonna do, let's try orange. So then I'm gonna draw Keenan's Tuesday lines. Nice, Tuesday lines. <laughs> <laughs> now, yes! Can I borrow some of your purple? Uh -huh. I just thought of something that would be really cool. What yeah. If instead of the black crayon, you did the white crayon for the whole thing, right? There's so many different ideas. Yeah, you and could then definitely you could do just that. Just watercolor over it. Yeah. Tessa's got a good point there. Just watercolor over it. There's so many different projects you can do. I love it. My favorite colors are this one. I think that's a really, really good one. Yeah. Now it's interesting. Because my the color didn't pop as much. The white looks so cool. Oh, that is cool. You can use color, but maybe it's just proving I just like the white. Ella, you could do your initials for your name in the little lines there all the way across. Uh, I should have done that. E J C. <laughs> or just J A. J A. Because we're both cool. Yes. Well. <laughs> Okay, now we are finished, minus the last step that we're going to do I is, do you need to do know my new nickname. What's your new nickname? J-A. Yeah. <laughs> are you going to sign it? Bye. Oh, Ella's going to sign it. Hey. <laughs> nice. wrote J -A. I love it. So you can sign yours. Now what we're going to do is we're going to tape, do you want me to help you get started? We're gonna take off the tape really slowly. So it might help is if you pull away. This is my best one, I really don't wanna whip it. Here, I'll help you. Sometimes when it rips, it gives it a really cool texture because you could replace that color and it would still look torn. Oh yeah. So that's okay, it's okay. Here, let's, let's stop, let's pause, yeah. There we go. Do the other side. So while I was kind of rolling it, I'm just kind of pulling away. There you go. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. We're good. We're good. Keenan. Basketball hoop. Oh. <laughs> That's a basketball hoop. That wasn't me. <laughs> you got it? Yeah. So we're both taking it off. So you will see that it made this border. Really good nice, that was a good side. Yeah. I know mine ripped too a little bit. It's okay. Yeah. Do you want to start from the side? You got it. Yeah. Oh, oh. Okay. It's okay. Oh, that looks really cool, actually. Yeah, it does. That's a cool Keenan, torn edge. I got a big basketball hoop. Oh, do it. Oh. Almost. It almost bounced in. Okay. Can I try yours? Yes. You have tons. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, okay. Stop. Okay. It's a good thing you can throw it in the trash can. Yeah. You got it. Yeah! yeah! High five. Woo! Okay, we are done. We did it. We hope you had so much fun. Thank you, Ella, for joining me and Tessa and Keenan back there. Thank you. And now, I would, we would all love to see what you make. This is the fun part of art is sharing what you make. We created a Facebook group that's just for you. It's called Let's Make Art, colon, Kids Projects, or Kid Projects. So you can share what you do there. And I hope you had so much fun. Color your name. I'd love to see what you make. And we will see you next time. Bye, everyone.